And Jesus said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. Jesus, I thank you for this beautiful place and for the opportunity to walk with you here. And I thank you for who you are and all you've done. I realize that it was because of our rebellion that you were pierced, and because of our sin that you were crushed, that you were beaten so we could be made whole. You were whipped so we could be healed. And I thank you that you came to earth to destroy the works of the devil, works such as sin, sickness, and disease. And Jesus, when you walked on earth, you healed all who came to you. There wasn't one case where you turned someone away or told them it wasn't God's will for them to be healed or that there was some reason that they should suffer. Jesus traveled throughout the region of Galilee, teaching in the synagogues and announcing the good news about the kingdom. And he healed every kind of disease and illness. News about him spread as far as Syria, and people soon began bringing to him all who were sick. And whatever their sickness and disease, he healed them all. And Lord, you taught your disciples to replicate what you're doing. You sent them out two by two and gave them these instructions. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. And so they departed and went through the towns, preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. Lord, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so just as you gave your first disciples the authority to preach the gospel and heal the sick, you also give your modern day disciples that same authority. And after your resurrection, the last thing you told your followers was this, go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. Anyone who believes and is baptized will be saved. And you told us that one of the signs that would follow those who believe is that they will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. And when you were finished talking with them, you were taken up into heaven and seated in the place of honor at God's right hand. And your followers went out everywhere and preached, and you worked through them, confirming what they said by many miraculous signs. Jesus, we know you came to set us free from sin and to destroy the works of the devil. We know you healed all who came to you without exception. And we know you commissioned your followers to replicate what you were doing by instructing them to preach the gospel and heal the sick. And since you are the same yesterday, today, and forever, we know you haven't changed your mind about healing and that it's still for today, and that you give your followers the same mission preach the gospel and heal the sick. And so, Lord, I pray blessings over those watching this video right now, those who may be sick or in pain or depressed or without hope. Lord, you know their needs. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that they be healed right now. And by the authority of Christ, I bind the enemy and destroy his works in their life. And I pray complete and total freedom over their life right now in the name of Jesus. I bind every form of disease, cancer, 
arthritis, heart disease, COVID, whatever the sickness, in Jesus' name, be healed. I pray healing over broken hearts, and I speak the peace and joy of Christ over depression and anxiety. And I speak freedom over those held captive by the enemy, that the light of Christ would drive out all darkness, that the enemy's schemes would be exposed and canceled. And if you are in need of prayer, send us an email to the address in the description of this video. And as I end my prayer walk on the farm today, I encourage you to watch this video next to see what I learned on my next adventure, Hiking with Jesus. God bless.